<laughs> you know, this is uh, the, the offer I am making. And I'm, and I'm going to ask you the following. I'm also giving you another chance. Because you now can invest. Because I have said, going forward, I will not be borrowing. But I'm ready to borrow from you. Yeah? Because you are doing a good job. And I know the ultimate beneficiaries are the citizens of our good country. Many of them in doing many small jobs. So you are the people I want to work with because I know ultimately. So, nimekuja hapa tukubaliani. Na nyinyi. Nyinyi mko na pesa. Lakini mimi nataka ni waombe hii pesa yenu tusitumie kusukuma hii nchi iende kwa madeni. Tutumie kutengeneza nchi ambayo iko na infrastructure ambayo itafaidi wa Kenya wote. Kama ni barabara ifaidi wa Kenya wote. Kama ni manyumba we already have six and a half million people living in slums. I was in Kibra to begin to progress the slum upgrading uh, project where we are building the next uh, 5,000 houses and then we'll do another 5,000. God willing, by the end of my term, I want Kibra to be a real estate, not, not a slum. And it's going to, we are going to succeed if you guys agree to work with us. Are we together? So, because you are the people who make the decisions on the other side, and I am the person who makes the decision on this side. <laughs> we can finish this meeting here. <laughs> You know, unless uh, you guys are not persuaded, because you know, this is our country and we must push it in the right uh, direction. It may look to you, for example, that maybe um, this is out of the ordinary, you know. This is not what you usually do. But let me give you a bit of background. You know? And forgive me if I'm taking too much time, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> let me give you an example. When we came into office in 2013, we had only 2.3 million people connected to electricity. 2.3 million. And we were trying to figure out how, how do we do this thing differently? Yeah? How do we do it differently? So after consultation and uh, you know, discussion back and forth, we decided, okay, why don't we do this thing differently? Because I was persuaded by one gentleman who told me, listen, uh, Mr. Deputy President, that time, the problem is we have many transformers all over the country that can carry between three and five hundred people but at the moment it's carrying only 15 or 10 people the other two three hundred people are not on this are not on power because we have said for you to be connected to power you must pay 70 shillings 70,000 shillings for you to be connected and that is why so many people who cannot raise 70,000 are living in darkness and the transformer is sitting outside their house. So what did we do? We decided, let's do this thing differently. Let us connect everybody for free who is electricity. 